Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up YouTube? Brock Smith, we say hello. Hello! We have another currency review video for everyone this time for the 1937 Bank of Canada $20 note. Now we have reviewed the 1, the 2, and the 10 from this series, have we not? Yes we have. So on this olive green note, would have picked a different color, but that is neither here nor there. You see King George VI featured on the note. You see on the left side of the note the English accents for the Bank of Canada, and to the right the Bank du Canada uh, theming or accents, uh, similar to the other bills. However, this bill is a bit more ornate. So again, underneath the portrait of George VI, how many maple leaves do you have? Four? Yes. Versus six under the one, two, and ten yes. dollar bills. Uh, you'll also see, again, a little more accenting on the border for the 20s. Different ribbon, according to Christina, yes. on this bill. That it houses the $20 in... $20. Yes. That's right, i got to say that with that French accent. <laughs> so, you'll see again, an interesting note. Um, the 20s are prominent on this note. Again, I would have picked a different color. But you do see a little more beauty in this note. A little more ornate work in the note as well. A little more incorporation of the maple leaves as well. A little yes. more patriotic. Yes, I mean, you don't typically have a maple leaf underneath the actual dollar amount symbol the two zero has and maple leaf under each one interesting so basically you have two maple leaves additional so one yeah. in each 20. interesting okay so anything else on the front side of this note other than the date january 2nd 1937 and who is it signed by oh coin and towers yes so this would indicate as the sign the signers of this bill the signatures if you will uh, for coin and towers uh, this bill is actually an older bill in the series so more of one of the original bills in the series from the early runs of this bill. Also, the $10 note that we reviewed as well as a coin and towers note. So, let's take a look back. So the allegory on this bill, everyone, again, with respect to the 1937 series allegories, is fertility. This is also the same allegory that you find on the 1935 $500 yes. uh, note from Canada as well. So Christina says it got a demotion, but here's how I look at it. Think about it this way. If you wanted to enjoy the artwork on, on the bills from this time period, rather than going out and picking up the 1935 series, which is quite pricey, you could certainly catch a bargain with the 1937 series and enjoy the same artwork. True. That is very true. So again, olive green on the reverse side of the bill. Looks like Setis is on this bill with an exposed breast. Yes. So this bill comes with a parental advisory. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes. So what else you got on the back of this bill? Um, basically on the back of this bill, it has Ceres holding the wheat husk, or mm -hmm. the sickle, with a bushel of wheat. She's sitting on a pumpkin with a tree behind her. It's very autumn -y. Yes. It's very fall-like. Yes. So, very pretty bill. Yes, and there's maple leaves on each side of the allegory. Mm -hmm. And there is two large 2020 symbols on each side of the allegory. Right, so you'll see also on the on the allegory uh, back sides of the notes from the series, typically you will see the dollar amount uh, featured prominently. But again, olive green note, another representation of steadies with an exposed breast. And again, fertility is the allegory on this note. You got anything else you want to say about this note? No, I think we're good to go. All right, excellent. All right, everybody, hope everybody enjoyed the review. Please check out the other reviews here on YouTube and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you hear, check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Go to FrugalSnobs.com. Be sure to check out the podcast and subscribe on your podcatcher of choice. Be well. Never pay at retail. Thanks for checking out the video, everyone. And take care of yourselves and each other.